Welcome to Cool to Craft. I'm Tiffany Windsor. And I'm Honey Borchers. Today's show, we thought we would bring to you last minute holiday ideas. Yes, today I'm making an angel of light, super simple to make, just by using plastic, tissue paper, and a little bit of paint, and she is beautiful. Candice Jedrowitz is crafting up this cake cover. It's fast and fun and perfect for the holidays. And what are you doing? I'm getting looped. <laughs> are you looping? <laughs> I am making a scrapbook paper loop Christmas tree and wreath. Say that five times really <laughs> fast. You say it. We'll be right back. I know that I don't need to tell you there's not much time left before the big day. No, there's not. So if you haven't done your holiday decorating, then here's some really cool projects. Well, what we wanted to do is bring you some ideas that are clever and good looking, but you could make quickly. Mm -hmm. And I actually went uh, way back because I wanted to think of something that was really easy that I hadn't shown for a while. And so this project that I'm going to do is actually came out of um, the Aline's Big Book of Crafts. Now, you can no longer purchase this book, but if you have it, then you're very, very lucky because it was an amazing amount of um, projects that were in it, um, two, two actual binders of it, and uh, this particular one that, um, that I'm doing, the Angel of Light, came out of the Christmas selection, and it was in the, um, the first... Um, I it was card number 30, so you had to go, almost go through the whole process. process. But this is the one um, that it showed before, and then um, the angel that I'm with. And I just, I just did it exactly how I did it from the Big Book of Crafts, because I just thought it would be fun to show something from the Big Book. So, shall we take a look at how you make this? Okay. For this project, I'm using the Aline's Collage Posh. It comes in glossy, matte, and sparkle. I think I'm going to use the sparkle today because I think it'll be fun to have a little bit of extra sparkle and shine. I'm also using the tulip uh, beads in a bottle, and then you need a piece of plastic, and I'm using the shrink plastic in clear. First thing we need to do with the beads in the bottle is we need to take and put on a tape nozzle because I want a finer line. So cut your tape, oh, maybe a little bit more than a quarter inch. You put it up on the nozzle and wrap it around. come back down. Now if you have a little bit of extra right here, we're going to cut that off. And we're going to cut a tiny bit off of here because it's pretty close. So we want it just to be just a thin line. I'm going to take my pattern Put it under my plastic, make sure that it's fit, it fits the whole way. And by the way, this sheet of plastic is approximately 8.5 by 11. Always test your paint and shake it down. And then just begin to outline right on the plastic. And you don't have to be perfect on the pattern, just follow it just as a guide. And if you miss a little place here, you just kind of go back and take that nozzle and go through it. So you outline the entire pattern. And this is what you have. 
Now remember to do this project because we're going to put a candle or a tea light in between. You need two that are opposite. So remember to reverse your pattern for one of them. Then we take and we're going to turn it over. So this is the back. You need to let the paint dry completely. This is the back. You're going to take some white tissue and you're just going to squish it up. And pour some of your Aline's Collage Podge on the back and just brush it. And you just want a thin coat. And you can see the little uh, glitter speckles in there, which will make it lots of fun. I want to make sure I don't have any space. All the way to the end. And be sure you go over it a little bit. Um, over the edge a little bit. Because we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut right on that line. Okay, take my tissue paper that I and just start to lay it down. And you still keep that wrinkle in it. That's what you want, is that wrinkle. And if you tear it a little bit, that's okay. We can add, put a little bit more, a little bit more of the Aline's Collage Podge, and then just put some over it. So this is the front side, and this I want to show you. Look at all these beautiful wrinkles, and also you can start to see the the glitter that's in the Aline's Collage Podge uh, sparkle. So I'm going to set this aside to dry, and then I'm going to show you how to cut it out. So now that my tissue is um, dry from the Aline's Collage Podge, I can cut right along my paint, my dried paint. Look at you can see the, the glitter too. Isn't that fun? So she's completely cut out. This is the back of her. And remember that we made two that are that are opposite. These actually could work out for all kinds of really cool things, even a, a top for a, um, a Christmas tree. Now I made this little present, and all I did was cut out um, some pieces of foam core, and I wrapped them with aluminum foil, put a little bow, and I'm going to take some tacky glue and glue it right into her hands. I want to just pick her up to show you what's going to happen when that dries is this is going to be a part like this, and this is where our little um, candle is going to go. So let's take a look at the photo, and you can see exactly what I mean by putting the little candle. Um, and you really don't want to use a candle. Use one of those little battery-operated ones that just flickers. They're, they're really um, inexpensive and easy to use, and then you don't have to worry about the, the flame, the fire of the flame. But it shows you how cool this project is just to, just to sit up on a mantle 
and uh, just flicker or again if you didn't want to use it as a candle I, like I said you could probably use it as a top to a tree lots of fun So with the electronic lights these days, they're so cool. <laughs> it makes it so much easier than trying to figure out what am I going to put inside. Look at in it, it even flickers. Isn't that cool? Hold it up here and let's see okay, if we can well, actually can it show. Up. I don't know. I think it's going to be too bright here in the studio today. But you can you can see it in the photo. The other cool thing is you don't have to do it where it has a light underneath it. You could just stick this on the top of your Christmas tree. It could be a tree topper. I think that'd be really cool too. I love the idea of using the tissue because it looks like handmade glass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's what it's supposed to look like because it's kind of it's kind of a reverse collage um, technique, but uh, also making it more simple. We used the original one that I did years ago was done with foiling, and because the foil is not available anymore, just using the paint very quick to put together, and anybody can make it. The kids can help you make it. When you first said foil, I was thinking aluminum foil, and I thought, that's still available. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the craft foil, uh -huh. because we used the Aline's it used to be a foiling, foiling glue, glue, right? And and the craft foil, mm -hmm. but it, it this looks great. I actually like the color of this bit better than I do the foil. When I look at the picture, I'm like, this one just really kind of stands out. It's lots of fun. But again, think of this as a technique you don't have to do an angel. You could do a star. I mean, a really quick star. Um, you can star, do star, teddy bear. Oh, look at that! I have paint on my hands. <laughs> um, and that's unusual for either one of us. <laughs> for me. Uh, star, teddy bear, anything that a Santa Claus, right. a snowman, right? Uh, even like a snowflake. It's it's the technique that I wanted to really um, embrace here because it's such a cool technique to do on plastic. Thanks for sharing that. You're welcome. Candace Jedrowitz has a very clever project. She is using a, a basin and turning it into a cake or pie cover. Very, very clever. Hi, Candace. Hello, everyone. Hey, welcome back to my studio. Today, I'm going to show you how you can take $5 and a trip to the dollar store to make a fabulous last minute holiday centerpiece slash dessert cover. I found some pretty awesome things at the dollar store. I love these glittery green berries and this is a garland that has a rope look to it. I like that a lot. And a plastic bell garland and then this will go on top of my centerpiece. The first thing you'll want to do is sand it and I used a, a medium grit sponge to sand it. The reason for that is it's very shiny and you don't really you want that to be in the background so then I used my drill with a tiny, tiny drill bit to make two holes in there because I want to attach the heart right away. And I want it to stand up the best that it can. So I'm going to work on my wires. To do that, I'm going to cut two wires. And this is 20 gauge brass. And they're about three inches long. I'm just going to make a pretty tight bend because I want it to fit tight on the heart. So I have both of my wires on there and then two ends are going to slip down into one hole on both sides. I pulled the wires through and I twisted them pretty tightly. So there's my handle. You might be able to tell that I have some remnants of tacky ducts on here. One of the things that I did was I measured across four times so that I have eight equally spaced 
places to attach my bells. And there's nothing better for that than a tacky dot. And I'm also doing another tacky dot directly below it so that there's plenty of tacky for all of the garland that we're going to put on there. I have my eight bells cut out, cut from the garland that is, and there's a flat place at the top of them and that's going to go into the top glue dot. On the last one I'm going to stick this end here right next to the top of the bell. Up a little bit higher, there we go. Now we're just going to add on the red garland. If you need to pull back on the bell, you can. As I add my red garland, I'm pulling down on the gold so that I can see how long the red needs to be. That tacky dot is so good that that bell doesn't leave it, even though it's standing on its end. Trim off your leftover. There we go. Now you've got your lower garland in place. Let's use a little tacky tape runner to get the garland. Need to go a little lower to stay where it's supposed to and be the shape that it's supposed to be. If you'd like, you can also tape down the gold, but I kind of like it the way it looks, so I'm going to leave it there. And the next thing we want to do is figure out where we want to have some greenery. And then after that, we'll go around the top again with the red. That is going to look so cute on my table. And I'll be able to hide my mincemeat pie under it. I added one more layer of glitter to this by using some clear glitter glue. I put spirals and dots and stripes on the white basin. This project was done just like that. And I like that it's going to be able to cover a, a nine inch pie or a small cake. I hope that you're inspired to try something like this, and I hope that if you do, I get to see it. Email me, Candace at CoolToCraft.com, with your high-resolution photos and stories so I can share them on our website. Stay crafty, my friends, and back to you, Tiffany and Heidi. I think that is so clever. I do too. What fun to take your holiday treats in a decorated uh, cover. You know, head on over to the dollar store. You can find a lot of the supplies that Candace mm -hmm. used and put them all together and you have a very quick last minute yeah, It's kind of like, why take your treats just plain on a plate when you can take one of Candace's uh, decorated And plate. use that also just as a centerpiece if you don't want to put it over your dessert. <laughs> and so. again, I'm kind of going on techniques, but but think of it all year long. I mean, all the different holidays. You could definitely do one for all the different holidays. And because it's so quick and inexpensive, you also can. You don't have to be afraid of leaving it with your your guests mm -hmm. that you're giving it to because it's like giving a gift too. How many times do we do that? We take some really nice pan or bowl yeah. or or serving yeah. pieces, and then we end up leaving them. Yeah, you don't have to do that now. Pretty cool. So what's up with you? <laughs> I mentioned at the top of the show, I am getting loopy today. <laughs> That's, That's not so unusual. much fun, but I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs>
So we were looking in Mama Aline's archives mm -hmm. because I said to Heidi, you know all of those cone uh, wreaths that you see everybody making in all of their blogs these days? They're kind of out of books or out of newspaper. Right, you just roll them into kind of a mm -hmm. tube. Well, we went back looking in the Mama Aline's archives and she had something similar, mm -hmm. but they were smaller. And, and I, then we got sidetracked. <laughs> I know, I know, we got totally sidetracked. So I thought, well, all right, what can I grab out of my supplies quickly and Heidi supplies quickly to be able to make a last minute holiday decor? So I created this scrapbook paper loop tree and wreath. For this project, I am using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the gold bottle. This is an all-purpose glue. It starts white and dries clear. It's very, very versatile, very durable, and it's perfect for this project. You will also need several pieces of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper that are printed on both sides. Cut them in half so that you have 6 inch by 12 inch pieces and then you will cut them down into half inch strips. So I have half inch by 6 inch, half inch by 4 inch, and half inch by 2 inch. For the base of the wreath you can use a styrofoam wreath or you can cut a wreath shape from cardboard. You want to paint the base, whether you're using styrofoam or cardboard, and then you want to cover it with a piece of your scrapbook paper. The next thing to do is to start creating the loops. And to do that, I am going to pour out a puddle of glue. This is a quick and easy way to apply glue to your paper strips. The paper that I've chosen is black on one side and ivory on the other. So when I create my loops, I want to keep that in mind and create them all in the same direction. So. For the first loops, I want to put the dark to the outside and the light to the inside. So what you do is you just pick up some glue, fold over, and here's a quick tip. Use clothespins to hold these while they're drying. It's going to make this project go a lot faster if you don't have to sit there and hold these to dry. Drag them in the glue. Fold them over, fold them. So you're going to repeat that for the number of loops that you need along the outside of your wreath. Next up I'm creating the smaller loops. And that's with these four inch strips. Let's put the dark to the inside this time. So I folded this one the wrong way, no problem. I can turn that over and hold it with my clothespin. The smallest loop is with the two inch piece. And what I like to do on these is to give them a little curve just by running my fingers over them. And you create these the same way. Fold them. Fold them with the clothespin. Curve them. Dip them and hold them closed. And you want to let 
all of your pieces dry for 10 minutes or so before you release them from the clothespins. So now we're ready to start adding our loops onto the wreath. And to do that, you just dip right into your Aline's Original Tacky Glue and start laying them in place. As I mentioned, what I love about using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue is when you pull this project out of your storage box next year, you know that it is going to stay together. Some people think that when you use a hot glue that it's actually quicker, but hot glue is affected by outdoor temperatures. If it's really hot or it's really cold, your pieces can fall off. So what I love about the Aline's Tacky Glue is I know that I'm going to glue it in place and these pieces are going to stay. And you can see how quickly this goes. As I come to where the loops meet, I may need to adjust just a little bit to fit that last one in. Perfect. Next up, it's the four inch pieces that will fit right in line with the others. And because I folded them the opposite way, you can see I have a nice variation to give some depth and interest to the design because these are dark and the outside layer was the lighter side of the paper. So you just continue gluing these all around. So I have my outside row, which was the six inch loops. I have this inside row, which is the four inch. And my last row are the little two inch loops. And what you want to do on these, when you cross them over, you're going to have some extra paper. So just cut that off. And glue these in place. for your third row. Of course, if you wanted to tuck your rows closer together, you can do that. But I wanted to show you how quick and easy these are to make. When you just dip all of these pieces right into the Aline's Original Tacky Glue, it goes very quickly and these hold right away. So finish putting all three rows on and then you can add your berries. This is a Christmas pick that I just cut off each of the berries. Again, just dip them into my Aline's Original Tacky Glue and glue them in place. On my finished wreath, you can see all of the layers. If you pick scrapbook paper that have different colors to the background, it's a beautiful look on these also. And if you have extra loops left over, you can create quick and easy ornaments. Or you can use a styrofoam cone 
to create a matching tree. So I've given you my designer secret. <laughs> <laughs> and actually I think it's back to technique. It is. I wanted to come up with a project today that was cute, which I really I think love that, this. that this is. But I wanted you to be able to make it quickly. Okay, go ahead, keep talking. Oh, keep well, talking. Keep where's talking. it going? Wait, 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 where's <laughs> it going? Where's it going? You, <laughs> you know, Mama Lane saw this and she said, Can I put this in my house? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that back here. I want it. Very so, cute. with the hit, here's how I tend to glue. You take the bottle and you put your glue mm -hmm. down and you set this down and then you put it on. If you noticed, I showed you how to just dip right into that glue and slap it on. I'm still neat about my crafting, <laughs> but I wanted to give you some hints on how to speed the process up. I thought it was very clever. And it was really cool, too, that you went from cones to, to loops because you we went through the book and she's like, well, I like this, I like this, I like this. And again, it is a vintage, well, actually, it's almost an antique um, project because Mom did it. Like 50 it was, years ago. I think it was 1967. I think it said in in the first one, 67. Okay, but the books that I gave you were re reprinted from the white, from the black and right. white. So it, it actually probably was like 64, 65. Okay. Because right. anything that had a color cover mm -hmm. was a reprint. I didn't know that. Yep. Now you, you know. know. You learn something <laughs> new every single day. Was that that? <laughs> I totally missed her. <laughs> So if you have just joined us, what we would like to do right now is to take you on a quick tour of what we showed on today's show. Today I showed an angel of light, and that's because you can put a little um, flashing uh, little candlelight underneath her, and uh, or you can use her as a treetop. She's quick and easy to put together, so it's a great for a last minute uh, decoration in your home. Candace Jedrowitz created this really cute cake or pie cover, or you could use this as a, a centerpiece on your table. These may be supplies that you have left over from last year. You can find a lot of these supplies at the dollar store. And just transform a white plastic basin or bowl into a very clever cover. Very cute. And I created this scrapbook paper looped tree and wreath. And this is a fast and fun project that you can create with any scrapbook paper prints, any look that you want to make yourself. You actually could do it just with it. Originally it was done with newspaper and then painted. You could do it with newspaper or book too, but I love scrapbook and paper. Well, it's really cool with the scrapbook paper these days that's printed on both sides and you there's so many neat combinations of colors and, and patterns. So. And I've always said that scrapbooking paper, because I don't scrapbook, there's so many more uses for scrapbooking paper than scrapbooking, and you have definitely shown that today. And I don't scrapbook, but I love scrapbook paper. Yeah, it's so. almost like fabric or, mm -hmm. or it is. Right. gift wrap have paper. Have you seen my stash growing? Yeah, <laughs> yours is like my fabric, my fabric stash is your, yeah. your scrapbooking oh. stash. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on and on collecting scrapbook paper. So. Love it. I would like to invite you to join us over at Facebook. That's facebook.com slash cool to craft. And if you like us, you will be able to join on our page and we share links and ideas and information. They have to, why would they not like us? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and be sure to go to our website. That's uh, cool to craft.com because there you can sign up for our newsletter and uh, has all kinds of things that comes uh, twice a week right now and uh, has all the instructions, the step-by-step step -step photos um, if you don't like the videos, there are videos there too. And don't forget to sign up for Almost Dailies because that's our special uh, newsletter that um, it's, there's two newsletters and actually it's up here, right? It's up here. Right here. <laughs> Very top <laughs> is the newsletter and then right below that is the Almost Dailies because we do special things for the Almost Dailies. If our friends and fans are not watching at cooldecraft.com right now, they would have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> you can only see that right above us is the, right. is the sign up right. for Almost Dailies because you can watch our show Over other places. places. Right. So, uh, okay, you then go to cooldecraft.com, <laughs> look at the top of the page on the right, and that's where the newsletters are. So, are you ready for the holidays? Not a bit. 
It's last minute, I know, but there's still a little bit of time to do some last minute crafting. Yeah, I think, well, I'm gonna probably take this and I'll take this and, <laughs> and I'll, I'll take this. Well, Mama Elaine has dibs on this, so hands off, Cute. hands off. If you put your hand out, we're slapping it. Get creative. Get inspired. Be cool. Be cool. Bye. Bye.